hello all welcome to my channel okay. the topic today i have selected is like aggregate data page i have seen couple of uh, people were asking for that so i have posted most of the topics in dp so only few is pending out of that one is aggregate data page so i will show you how we can create a, a aggregate data page and what is the use of aggregate data page both i will explain today so i'll just try to we go and create an aggregate data page now the page so i'm just gonna create this on address class and uh, the rules it is going to be flsg create and open so now i'm gonna mark it as a list just scroll down so here in the sources we have an option uh, called aggregate sources so when you select that you see you are having an option to select the source and also you are having an option to add more than one source means in some cases we will have result coming from different sources like it's not like or it's and in some cases i may need to uh, call the rest first report definition second and look up third in the end i need to combine all the result and set it back to the dpage so in those cases how we can achieve that so that is where we are using using the aggregate sources so in the earlier video we have said alternate source in the name itself we we are uh, uh, i mean we know that uh, alternate it's a kind of like or if this is getting satisfied then call this source otherwise call this source it is kind of otherwise condition but here whereas here we have to call all the sources and then we need to combine the result to the same dpage that is what i'm going to explain so now we are going to provide some generic name related to this dpage i'm gonna name it as customer data because i'm gonna get the details of the customer address okay so now the source i'm gonna select is report definition first i will take some report definition which already has a result okay so address list so this is nothing but i will just run and show you we eat this will take one um reference number as a param and when we run this it will it will return all the uh, address details like street state country everything it will return so i'm gonna take this report definition as first source you see response data transform i'll come there second one i'm gonna call lookup lookup also it's going to be same address this will take the parameters pyid okay so i'm just gonna make both has a param for first one it is a reference number so this i'm gonna mark it as a fast current parameter the second one i'm gonna keep it as reference as a param because both will take the same value so i'm gonna mark it as a reference so whenever we are providing the input the same input will get passed to the first report definition and second lookup in the end how we are going to merge the result now i'm gonna create report definition to merge the result into same dt map source one result just create here so we see the top level mapping is already there so this is our source data source dot px results so this will loop and the result will get uh, set into this like it will get appended to this px results okay so what i'm gonna do is so here we have to do the um, our mapping so i'm gonna mark it as a set so the properties i'm gonna select here is py address it's py street 
PY street is equal to same PY street. Second one is PY state state and the third one is PY country. This PY country. This is what I'm going to do the mapping. Fine. Now the source one is ready. Now since we are using the same type of um, I mean even the second one is type of address right so there is no change will be there okay i can show you from here only so i'm gonna create source to result to map the response back to our dp page just create and open you can see the same structure whatever we have seen in the dt1 got added here so what i'm going to do is i'm just gonna copy the step one copy and I'm gonna paste it here because the same mapping only I have to do right okay I'm unable to do sometimes this copy paste won't work let me copy okay fine so it's not working I'm gonna set it manually so first one is PY address right so it won't take much time because only three properties two and three I'll add one more state and country that's it just do see now our both of our DT is ready so you can observe few things here there is one uh, venture called P D PX data page as errors. Sometimes we receive error right during that time. So we can do the error only by enabling this one and the, uh, this data transform. So based on our requirement, we can enable and we can change the existing coding. So that is why they have provided that option. Now I'm going back to my data page and I'll do same. That's it. Our changes are done now i need this reference number right i'll go back to this data types i'll open this address data type and go to records So this reference number, we can pass it for the reference number as well as for the GUID. So I'm going to select this input. I'll just go back here. Just do run. Pass the reference number, do trace and run. So this is our DPH name and it's a list type we can see the py source page which has a py aggregate sources so source of one is report definition and source of two is lookup the address lookup and i'll just collapse this so in the bottom you can see the px results of one you see the country, state, and street, whatever we have mapped. So, result of two, I'll expand. Here we see USA, ME. So, this is from lookup. So, we had two result. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make small changes. I'll just pass this. I go here. Hmm. So in the first report definition, hypo definition, I'm gonna do the private edit. 
I will remove this reference number. So when I remove this reference number, it will return, I mean, it will return all the results, right? So I'll just go run here. We can see how many results it is returning. So we have counter seven. Okay. So now since I've removed this condition, so we should be having the eight result when I run this. So seven is from first report definition and the one is from this lookup. Now I'll go and run this. For the other one, I need a reference number, right? I'll just close. Copy this. Paste. Trace. Flush. And run. now i go to px results see we are seeing eight result so first seven is from report definition because we have removed the condition and the last one is from our lookup so this is how we aggregate the multiple source result into the same dpg hope this class is informative for you people i will meet you people with the different topic